Second Enoch chapter 22 In the tenth heaven, the archangel Michael brought Enoch in front of the face of the Lord. And on the tenth heaven, Araboth, I saw the view of the face of the Lord, like iron made burning hot in a fire, and brought out, and it emits sparks, and is incandescent. Thus even I saw the face of the Lord. But the face of the Lord is not to be talked about. It is so very marvelous and supremely awesome and supremely frightening. And who am I to give an account of the incomprehensible being of the Lord and of his face so extremely strange and indescribable? And how many are his commands and his multiple voice and the Lord's throne supremely great and not made by hands and the choir stalls all around him, the cherubim and the seraphim armies and their never silent singing. Who can give an account of his beautiful appearance, never changing and indescribable and his great glory? And I fell down flat and did obeisance to the Lord and the Lord with his own mouth said to me, Be brave, Enoch, don't be frightened. Stand up and stand in front of my face forever. And Michael, the Lord's greatest archangel, lifted me up and brought me in front of the face of the Lord. And the Lord sounded out his servants. The Lord said, Let Enoch come up and stand in front of my face forever. And the glorious ones did obeisance and said, let him come up. The Lord said to Michael, Take Enoch and extract him from the earthly clothing and anoint him with a delightful oil and put him, him into the clothes of glory. And Michael extracted me from my clothes. He anointed me with a delightful oil and the appearance of that oil is greater than the greatest light. Its ointment is like sweet dew, and its fragrance like myrrh, and its shining is like the sun. And I gazed at all of myself, and I had become like one of the glorious ones.